Welcome to Amiga Bytes. Tonight I'm checking out a game called The Eye of Horus. This one was developed by a company called Denton Designs, published by Logotron, and all of that in 1989. So, let's get going. I don't know anything about this game at all, except that I like the look of it in the screenshots. Although I have to confess, I did actually catch a little bit of text on the Wikipedia page for this one when I was looking up the information that said it got a 1 out of 5 in a magazine at the time. So I'm not expecting anything too spectacular here. Okay, let's go up here. Can we go up here? Whoa! Okay, my guy can shoot. Shoot little bullets out of his hand. Okay. Oh! I can turn into a bird! One out of five? What are they talking about? This is the first Amiga game I played where you can turn into a bird. It didn't help me, but it was cool. Okay. Nope. Alright. Uh, can I go... Okay. I'm not really sure how to... Is that a door? Can I... Uh, none of the buttons seem to let me go in there. Uh, okay. Just being a... Okay, I can still shoot when I'm a bird. That's nice to know. Uh, these look like lifts of some kind, but... Oh, hang on. Okay, that works. That has a... That lit up when I... And I stepped on it. Okay. What is going on up there? Oh. Alright. Ah! <laughs> I have no idea what those are, but they're coming for me. Let's turn into a bird. See if we can deal with those. Can I... Uh... Uh, okay, I can shoot him. Ah. What are, what is that supposed to be? Are they hier hieroglyphics? Okay. I guess I'll just watch out for those. Okay, alright. So, standing on this one, that little, uh, the little symbols on the left and they lit up to indicate that that one goes in both directions, obviously. Oh, lord. Okay, so we got more living hieroglyphics over here. What a weird thing. Uh, ow. Alright. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't know whether I should be trying to fight these things? Ugh. Uh, let's just keep, try to keep going. Well, there's a lot going on over this side. I've... Not sure if I'm going to get through that alive. Okay, this has... Oh, I'm trying to process this and there's things just coming at me. That had three symbols. An up, a down, but also a, a green right arrow. Uh... Oh, jeez. Alright. And these look like they're infinitely... Infinitely spawning. Uh, nothing over this side? Nope. Uh, can't interact with that. Oh! Uh, I just did something then. Like an inventory or something? I'd really like to check out some of these things, but stuff just is happening so quickly to me here. I'm not really getting much time to check stuff out. Ah, oh boy, I'm definitely going to die soon. Okay, let's go down here. Okay. Oh, jeez, alright. 
I was going to take a look at that little pot, but I guess the game doesn't want me to do that. Let's go back to being a bird. <laughs> this is really strange. When I get into bird mode, it feels like a, uh, a shoot 'em up. It feels like a scrolling shooter, but on the ground, it feels like a really bad platformer. Oh, uh, okay. Again, I was going to look at whatever that was, but I don't even know whether that's a part of this game is objects we can interact with or collect. Haven't seen anything like that yet. Uh, Alright. That elevator, for whatever reason, isn't active, so... I guess I'll just go back to bird shooting. She has little bar graphs coming out of here. Oh, boy. Not for much longer, though. What a strange thing. Just being attacked by... Oh, at least I come back where I was. I think I do have infinite lives enabled in the uh, trainer for this. So at least I'm probably not going to have to go back and start over. Uh, okay, we can go up again. Let's do that. Okay, that's as far up as I can go. Uh, unless I'm a bird. Oh, and this frame rate. Rough. Man, I've really got no clue where I've been. Could this be the first room I was in? Maybe. Alright, let's see where this takes me. Okay, this can go up. Let's go up. Okay. This might be a new room. Same hazards, though. Okay, let's get through. Oh, okay. And we just... Another dead end? Um, is that a... Is that a collectible? Oh, okay, I've got a thing! Uh, okay, now I've just got to try and work out how I activated that... Uh... Okay, how I activated that inventory type thing before. Let me see if I can get somewhere relatively safe away from all these hostiles. Okay. Let's just step off here. Ah, oh, alright. So down and one of the buttons lets me do something. Okay, and then up gets out of it. Okay. Uh, down and a button. Uh, I just used it, I guess? I wonder if that opened a door somewhere or activated... There was an, uh, an elevator we saw earlier that wasn't active. Possibly that activated that. So let's go back to bird styles. See if we can take a look. I think it was down this way and to the right. Further down? Uh. Oh, ah, come on, come on. Not the most precise controls I've ever inter- Oh, good god. Uh. Uh. Oh, another item. Okay. Yeah. Boy, it just seems like the frame rate is so much better when I'm a bird as well. I couldn't begin to imagine why that is. Okay, is this where I wanted to be? Oh, no, I'm not sure I've been in here. I don't remember those bees. Oh, man. Oh, the frame rate. Come on, let me through. Okay, no, this is not where I thought I was going. So that's got a little blue, I guess, intended to be a circle. So maybe that's like a, a collectible of some sort, like we've been getting. 
So if I can get back through here alive. Let's try down here further. I'm pretty lost. Uh, Alright, back to bird. Let's go. Oh. What? Nope. Dead. And we're back. Uh, okay, okay. That little moon symbol. Was that lit before? Oh man. And I haven't activated my, my key either. Let me see if I can do that. Okay, it's saying no. It doesn't want me to do that. I guess I've got to activate that at a particular time. Let's go up. Up and over. Whoa! They do not muck around here. Okay, back up here. Okay. Let's zoom over here. Is that spikes or does it just look like spikes, I wonder? Whoa, jeez, alright. That is a lot of things coming at me. Let's go down. I'm really not too sure how they want this to be played. It kind of feels like they expect you to be a bird a lot of the time. Oh, we've got a different palette. New area? Oh, same kind of stuff going on there. Oh my good lord. That is really tanking. Oh, jeez. Alright. Not supposed to go through there yet, maybe? Wow. Let's see if I can just push through there in my invincibility phase. Is that going to let me do that? Oh. Okay. Made it out the other side. Boy, this is a slideshow. I'm... Not sure anything I've played so far has performed quite this badly. And this is a relatively old title as well. I've played things from half a decade later than this that have performed great. Guess it could be something on my end in the uh, the emulator settings, but... It just seems like every time we get a large number of enemies on screen, it just crumbles. And this game does seem to like throwing a lot of enemies at you at once. Let's go. Oh, my. Yeah, case in point. Wow. Okay. Infinite lies. That's what we're here for. These little guys dropping little blue bombs on me. Anything down here? Oh, I'm not going down there. Oh, jeez. Alright, maybe I am going down there. It's going to... I don't think we can get over that. Can we get over that? Er, nope, we can't. Not without taking hits anyway. Okay, another lift. Jeez, these levels are... Okay, no, that one's not active, I guess. No, that lift's not active. This is a really labyrinthine level. It's... Just stuff everywhere. Okay, I've picked up a ladder? Oh, no. Ugh. Okay. So I guess I can try... using some of these items. Okay, can't use the key-looking thing. Okay, I'll use whatever that was. Maybe invincibility? Uh... Okay, the ladder definitely did something. Uh, it's taken me back higher in the level. So maybe, is this a game about going down layers, perhaps? That took me up to the next layer higher? Maybe. Best guess. I definitely remember this area. Didn't love it. I mean, I kind of, I appreciate the visuals. I don't really understand what they're going for in terms of being attacked by sort of bizarrely shaped hieroglyphs, but I like the colours and I like the 
I'm a big fan of sort of Egyptology type stuff, so I like the vibes, and the music isn't bad, it's a little bit repetitive, but, you know, it's not awful. I've definitely heard worse. But I don't know what this game wants to be in terms of gameplay. It's really, it's not a platformer at all. It's, if anything, it's it leans more heavily on the shoot 'em up stuff. With this weird sort of slow, dreary action game sort of like grafted into it. But you know, that's why I'm here. Check out all the the weird variety that you have on this platform. Okay, definitely nothing more to do there. I do like being able to zip over zip over the top of everyone. It kind of seems like why would you ever walk when you've got the ability to do this? It's just everything's everything's easier as a bird. I guess maybe it... No, it doesn't make you more vulnerable. It, it really is just no downsides. Okay. Back up here, I guess. Roop. Let's go. Oh, whoop. more of these. Yeah, just lots of dead ends. It's um the level design isn't really very inspiring. It's just go down a corridor, hit the end, have to go back. Yay! We're having fun. Uh so much fun in fact that I think we might call it there. So this has been a strange little game called The Eye of Horus from 1989. Thanks for watching Amigabytes. See you later.